It's mid-September, and King of the Klondike, Tony Beats, is on track to sail past his 5,000-ounce gold. The rate we're going, we can hit it. Ugh. Oh, the weather would smart up, eh? Only 900 ounces short, Tony's all in on the 80 pup cut, which last week delivered over 500 ounces of white channel gold. I mean, we got some great gold waste coming out of 80 pup these days. That is nothing but great pay in there, piles of it. And I would really like to see that continue. But with all this rain in the water in that pond, there'll be a bit of dike work. We had some issues with them already this year that we had to build them up and fix them. 12 weeks ago, Tony started sluicing 24 hours a day, doubling the water flowing from the trommel into the settling ponds below. Tony, Tony, do you copy? We've got multiple breaks in a dike. They have to build these dikes up and we'll end up with a pretty decent road. Forcing Tony to shut down to build up and strengthen the dikes. That looks good, that looks good. Now, with water levels rising again, Tony is going on the offensive. You don't want to with your pond, so better make sure everything is in A1 shape. Nick D, copy, Nick D, copy. Yeah. Yeah, take that 220 to the dikes, right by the pump area there, because all this water coming down these days, sure as we're gonna have to do something down there. Yeah. Weather is it has been raining a lot, so uh, water is gonna keep coming in. So uh, I do gotta hurry up so this uh, dike doesn't break. Very wet already. Hope I won't sink here. Oh, I'm really going down here. This is not good. This is bad. Tony, do you copy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm stuck here in a 220. This is not good. We're gonna need some equipment here really quick. If you hang in, then I'll bring them to you in a minute. Mike just called. He said he got stuck in the pond. I don't know where the he's at. Anyway, I gotta get down there, assess the situation, and then we'll deal with that accordingly. Holy You got it stuck, did you? Yeah, it's a mess. That's no surprise. It's like a swamp, right? Yeah. Hey, Mike. Why the do I have Come here. The cousin the up. OK, Mike. Yeah. I'm going to jump at a 349. You are going to sit over here, because you got the longer boom, yeah? And then I'll be sitting beside you and then we'll both grab a side of the bucket, yeah? Make sure you get your bucket stretched out so we can get beside it. Yeah. And then we'll see if we can pull you the f out of there. Well, they had no clue, of course, because it's a settling pond. They had no business being there trying to take a shortcut, so here we are, have an extra where they buried. So hopefully we get lucky and be one pull. Okay, Mike, let's try it. More, 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 more. Come more on my way, more. We're dragging him into the mud, Dad. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Mike, get the f out of there.
Uh, yeah, so we tried to pull it this way, and because it's so wet, the excavator, all the tracks just dug themselves into the dirt. So uh, it only got worse. have little dimples. <laughs> See, Mom has breakfast for you. <laughs> Heavy rain has slowed production on Paradise Hill all week, but Tony Beats is hoping the 80 pup continues to deliver big gold, helping him smash his 5,000 ounce gold. No, it's doing excellent. We lost a couple hours when Mike having the excavator stuck because the guy doesn't listen to your directions, drives right across the Saddling pond, guess what? Sings it to I heard that. Did you give directions in English, Dutch, or Frisian? I forget. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no damage done. Took us what? Two, three hours to get it out? Yeah. Something like that? It came out a lot easier than I thought it would. That was my engineering, by the way. Of course, you're going to get good at engineering and getting them out when you keep getting them in there. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice, Mike. Nice. I'll <laughs> remember that too. Practice makes perfect, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, weigh it up, Mike. Ready? Pull it. Okay, let's go. 10, 15, 20, 30, 40. To keep the family on track. 80, 90. Tony needs over 300 ounces. 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300. 470, 480, 490, 499.84. Worth $850,000, bringing their total to 4,601 ounces. That's looking pretty good for six days. Absolutely. That 80 pub does very well. Actually, that has been doing really well. Yes, sir, that does exceptional. Need a bigger tray next time because this one barely fit at all. We have a day more sluicing, but the, it's still good gold. Well, it looks like it's paying good, so that's the best part. I mean, it, uh, we're getting close, but the weather is the sh so we're not quite there yet. Anyway, so far so good. I'm pretty happy with it. Right? Me too. We do a million bucks in a week with the. Some other way. Have to. Good job, baby.